It's a beautiful day here. Um, I am going to show you a project I have been working on that I got some advice from a friend of mine that I need to redo the legs because I was stuck on how to do the legs because I'm building a bridge, a small bridge for my goats to not be bored. So that's one of the things I'm doing for them to be like, able to play on. It's, I mean, just a little bridge, but it's nine feet from one end where they climb up to the other end. You know, it's, it's nine feet. So I was having a hard time stabilizing the legs, like when I put it upright and I sat on it, barely the legs that were, they would bow out. And I was like, oh dang, that's not going to hold. I mean, it might hold my goats right now when I first get them because they're babies. But when they're full grown and 60 pounds each, probably they're, and they're both on that, it probably won't hold them. So I'm going to show you what I did that's, that didn't work. And then I'm going to do what my friend suggested and see if it does work. Okay, this is the bridge upside down. That's, you know, obviously they'll go up, walk over, and then go back down. But this is upside down. This is what I did that did not work. And remember, I am just using the materials that I have to build what I need. Um, so, I got a whole bunch of pallets. Let me show you. There's a whole bunch of pallets, and I have a ton more. But this, that's what I'm using to make this stuff. So this is what I did that didn't work. Is this. It is not stabilizing the legs good enough. Like I said, when I sit on it, when I turn it upright and I sit on it, um, the legs bow out. Like these do not hold. So I had a friend suggest something. Um, and I'm going to try it. It's basically like this, except with longer boards that I need to take higher up to farther in. So I'm gonna do that and then I will come back and show you and hopefully it's working. See, see what I told you about my dog like in rocks? That's what she's, look at her. This is what she does. She just chases rocks around the yard like that. And then she'll pick them up and just carry them. Jade. Jada, what are you doing? Here she comes. What are you doing? What are you doing? Ya goof. Here's my other cat. That's Mara. I don't know if any of y'all are familiar with the video game Skyrim. If you have kids and they play that. Um, my son had named her that. Uh, from that movie, or from that, that video game, Skyrim. So that has nothing to do with my video, but I thought I would share. And there's Mike. Mike is named after that too. Except it was supposed to be Mike. Um, pronounce Mayik, which is named after Skyrim also, but my grand couldn't, my grandson couldn't say Mayik um, when I first got him. He would just say Mike. So it just changed to Mike. And here's another side note. Mike is one of Mara's kittens from one uh, litter she had. And I didn't give Mike away because for whatever reason in that litter, Mike was a terrified spaz kitten. Like you would have thought it was, he was feral. Um, but he was, he was around humans as much as all the other kittens were. And they were totally fine. Like for the longest time, I could not even hardly touch Mike. Like, I tried to go up to her and didn't, she would freak out and just take off. Well, when she was a kitten, we thought she was a boy. Um, 
So that's hence the name Mike. We didn't find out till till um, she her tummy started getting really fat, and she had kittens. That's when we found out Mike was a girl. But she's already used to the name Mike, so that's what we call her, Mike. Anyway, that was a side note. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna work on this, and I'll come back in just a little bit and show you what I've done. And hopefully we can get this done because I need to get the floor done today too. Because today's a, a nice day. It's supposed to storm for the next couple days. And I don't have that much longer until I get my goats. And on my other video, I said something about two and a half weeks till I get them. No, it is a week from tomorrow that I get them. So I don't know where I got two and a half weeks from. It's the first Saturday in April, which I believe is a week from tomorrow. So anyway, I'll be back. I'm going to work on this and... Then I'll come back and show you what I've got done. I did it. I got the little bridge together. Now, before I show you, I just want you to know this is put together for functionality and for my goats. It is not in any shape, way, shape, or form put together for looks at all. So I will show you what I did and explain to you a little bit of what I did and why I did it. Oh, let me show you real quick. She's getting her pool filled up. She's a goofy dog. All right, this is it. This is the finished product. No, it does not look beautiful at all, but this is what I did. Now, before, if you remember my, the, the pieces I had from here to here were really short from like here to here, like in that area, and they were not holding. So per a friend said, I need to get longer pieces and attach from there up towards the middle of it more. So that's what I did. These are the middle bars of a pallet. Like, you can tell where I've cut the actual boards off of it, but this was the middle section of a pallet. And I put two screws on that end, two screws over there, two and two. And I set on it. I'll show you. This will be bad if it breaks, but I've already set on it and it held me. Hopefully you guys have learned stuff, what to do and what not to do. Um, I will tell you a little bit of my method to my madness. Let me show you. Okay, I'll tell you when I... These are the center sections of these, like where they've been cut. That's what these are. Anyway, I pre went down through and pre-drilled every hole all the way down, all the way back. Then I went through and set each screw in and twisted it in just a tiny bit to hold it. And then went back with my drill one at a time and just went down and back. That's what I did for every one of them. So I didn't like pre-drill a hole and then screw it in. Then pre-drill another hole and then screw another screw in. Like, that would be really time consuming. So, pre-drill all your holes first and then put all the screws in. That's, that's what I did. All right, that's it for today. Um, I will do another video later on the floor in the goat house so you can see how that's coming along. But I think that's it for today. Don't forget to hit that uh, like button and the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell because if you, when you hit the bell, it notifies you when I have posted a new video. So thanks for showing up again. Y'all stay safe. Stay away from each other right now because of the dang virus and wash your hands. Thanks.